Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A uh, dilapidated house, this one. Just caught my attention while we were driving in a country road. And that's such a character. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share <coughs> Hosea 4 verse 1. Oh, thank, before I start, thank you so much for all those who prayed for me for this whole week that I was so sick and um, <clears throat> with rhinitis and flu. So here's uh, Hosea 4 verse 1 says, The Lord has brought charges against you, saying, There is no faithfulness, no kindness, no knowledge of God in your land. Here's my poem. Charges against the unfaithful. The Lord has brought charges to the unfaithful. They couldn't care less about... I'm sorry. Again, I'm so sorry. Uh, charges against the unfaithful. The Lord has brought charges to the unfaithful because there is no kindness in them at all. They couldn't care less about knowing their God. They wouldn't bow down to bring him law. <coughs> Excuse me. The Lord will bless those who are faithful. There are no promises for those who are fools. When you seek the Lord and abide in Him, He will ensure that you can overcome sin. Here's my essay. We, will always, he we always hear that we ought not to judge one another. Some people use this phrase to excuse themselves from doing evil and turning their backs on God. They serve the world rather than the Lord and have no qualms prioritizing their pleasures over worshiping their own creator. Psalm 75 verse 7 says, God is a judge. He puts down one and exalts another. And Psalm 96 verse 13 warns us that he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. Jeremiah 17.10 says, I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give each man according to his ways, according to the results of his deeds. What would you do if you hear Hosea's warning to the unkind, the unfaithful, and those who don't want to know the Lord? Prayer. Lord, grant grace to those who are lost and don't know you. Reflection, why is it important to stay devoted to seeking the Lord? God designed us to be faithful to him. When we do things that are unfaithful to him, we get in trouble. So... It is important that we stay faithful to the Lord because then our life will be, it doesn't mean that our, we will be trouble, we will live trouble-free lives, but it means that if we navigate this world with, uh, <clears throat> with a devotion to the Lord, He will show us uh, the, the wisdom and the discernment how to deal with whatever challenges that comes our way. It's important to stay devoted to the Lord because we will have eternal life if we did. Um, otherwise, then there will be death in our life. Not, not necessarily physical death, but um, more spiritual death. Like being a zombie, living a life that you don't know your purpose. So, <clears throat> it is important that we heed the warning of Hosea in this verse 4 verse 1 that we must be kind we must be faithful and we must seek the Lord our God to know him more and to follow his character because without that we are in for trouble on the last day or whenever that day comes he will judge us if we are not able to be faithful to him.
Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much, so stay faithful as he is faithful.